remember Matt Walsh? Matt Walsh is a conservative who happens to be on a so-called popular conservative broadcasting program called the Daily Wire and clearly on his program, The Matt Walsh Show, he is pretty much well known for making these the quite out loud racist takes. Oh yeah, he makes it he makes a racist take very quietly. And from the two videos that you see here, I made a YouTube video about it in the past six months ago. And pretty much what Matt Matt Walsh did was extremely, extremely out of line. I'm going to show you the one clip in remembrance to what he said about slavery, and then I'll show you the other clip in reference to what he said about white people not being able to say the word n-word in fact it seems rather clear that black americans are doing better here today than they would be had their ancestors generations ago never been brought to these shores we can prove this point by simply asking which african country anyone asking for reparations would prefer to live in the answer of course is none of them now you might offer the rebuttal that if slavery never existed, if we're reimagining history without that institution at all, then uh, Africa itself would be in a better shape, better place and better shape. And maybe indeed black Americans would be better off there. But this seems highly unlikely. And it also ignores the fact that Africans participated in slavery and the slave trade as much as they were victims of it. Not to mention, if we're reimagining the world without African slavery, then we have to also imagine it without all other forms of global slavery, since African slavery was merely one variety, one offshoot of this global institution. And now we have totally, in that point, rewritten the history of the world in a way so dramatic that it, it's absolutely impossible to say which individuals today would end up worse or better in this alternate universe. I mean, if you go back in time and get rid of slavery from the entire world, you have just, it's impossible to say what the world looks like right now. Actually, what we can say is that we'd all end up worse. All of us today would be in a worse spot if uh, slavery never existed at all across the entire globe. Because a change that significant would likely shift the course of events in a way that would mean none of us would even exist. It would be a world full of other people who are not us. So I know that I benefit today from virtually everything my ancestors did and everything did to them because if any of that had not happened, there's a very good chance that I never would have come into being. And as I see it, I benefit from being if the other option is not being. Um, and it is again a decision that nobody, no one can logically or morally defend. You know, the idea that there's a, that there's a word that cannot be uttered under any circumstance is completely insane. And it is not something that there is no other word in the English language or any other language in existence that we have those kinds of rules for. Any other, there's, there's other words that are slurs. There are words that, are, that we would consider vulgarity and profanity. Um, and all kinds of words that I don't say on this show uh, because we try not to use profanity and vulgarity on the show. Um, words that I don't think you should use, words that you shouldn't use around kids and so on, and all kinds of words like this. Um, but there's no other word that we would say, well, under no circumstance at all can it even be uttered, even in, in, in the context of quoting somebody. 
And certainly there's no other word where we would say, well, judging on your skin pigment, if it's this shade, you can't say it at all under any circumstance. But if it's uh, a little bit of a darker shade, then say it all the time and it's totally fine. So there's no context where it can be said over here. There is no context where it can't be said over here. And we are going to decide that based on how dark your skin is. Makes no sense. And I think we all are aware of that. And in that other video I made about Matt Walsh this year, I also called him out in that exact video for him saying the N-word. At the time, though, it was pretty much known that he was hacked on Twitter. But even then, hacked or not, you should not, as a white person, still say the n-word. So clearly Matt Walsh already learned this lesson since, but I'm absolutely not certain that Matt Walsh is the type of person who can change to become a better person and to turn over a new leaf, because I know that every single second that he and the other goons of the Daily Wire doing are going to be really, really divisive. And I'm just not willing to take the chance to forgive people who continue to go down this right-wing reactionary path. Just to be secretly racist by not actually saying the words out loud. You only say the words quietly. But of course he is Matt Walsh. He is going to be doing this type of stunt like he always does and he's really never can change as a person so i wouldn't really expect him to because apparently he has the freedom of speech to say whatever he wants so i'm not going to stop him for that but only the youtube gods will whenever he breaks terms of service but you know, there is this one man who is wearing a red suit and unfortunately for Matt Walsh, this year he's not going to get the colorful box lip tied ribbon across the box this year. Here's what he'll get instead. And I'll let Santa speak for that. Oh, oh, oh. I hear someone's being naughty and very crude for making racist statements. Wow. And why would you think that slavery is a good thing? Who taught you that? Why? Why must you say this? For people like you, you obviously don't deserve any present from Santa Claus whatsoever. What you deserve from me, Santa Claus, is a coal on your stocking. Check it on your stocking this Christmas. People, because people like you do dumbass things and you get one for being one. The bottom line here is that nobody who is white, like Matt Walsh, really thinks this way. And if they do think this way about 
slavery. Then they are really not right in the head. They are living in a different type of universe that they continue to imagine in their heads every time because they want to glorify how good slavery was for our country even though slavery is actually bad for our country it didn't help the United States of America at all it only allows the racism to continue to torment black people who were being forced to do slavery work by the racist white folks back in the 1800s and 1700s and the fact that you also expressed your feelings about not wanting to say the n word is abhorrent of you because you do not represent the many many people of your own race who would never go down this road to want to say that they want to say the n word as much as you do and also if you want to avoid being hacked again on the internet next time maybe try to be a little less racist for a change maybe try that and you'll actually won't get your social media accounts affected again